giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Welcome back to this segment. Now this is November, right? We're talking about a nutcracker in December. Oh, it's coming to town for sure. And we're going to tell you all about it in this segment with our friend Katie Holland. Hello, Katie. Welcome Hello. to News Leaders. Thank you. From Dancers Alley, you're the owner and director of yes. Dancers Alley. So Dancers Alley, you've got your dancers. They're all ready to go for this nutcracker, right? We are ready to go. We auditioned in May. We've been rehearsing since August. Um, we're really delighted to have Southside Philharmonic Orchestra joining us again for this yeah. year's performance. This is the second time they've been with you then? It is. Um, we've been doing this show every other year since 1999, so it's our 11th production. Uh, last year, the Philharmonic joined us, and it was just it, it was just a miracle. It was wonderful. So you so went wonderful. from recorded music yes. to live, to live, live music. music, the live yep. orchestra. Yeah. I really had never thought that that would be possible, um, but then when I heard Patrick's Southside Philharmonic Orchestra play about a year ago, um, I just thought, I had no doubts that it would just bring a different element to our show, and um, because we had such a large group of very talented um, older students, we decided to do the show two years in a row. Um, and, and also to have Patrick join us again with so, the Philharmonic. Some changes then for you all. Some changes, yeah. yeah. We're talking about Patrick Clark, the yes. conductor for the uh, Southside Philharmonic Orchestra. And they've only been around for a little while, too. Right. But he's corralled mm -hmm. them into this great performing piece mm -hmm. of musicians. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it's just meant to be, this group and your group, right? It is, yes. Um, like I said, it has brought... Just a, a different, wonderful aspect to you know what we've always tried to make as professional a show as possible, performance, um, both for the young dancers involved and the local actors, um, but also for our audience too. We don't get many professional full-length ballets come to the Midwest, and definitely not in Jefferson City. So this sometimes is the only opportunity that they have to see a full-length ballet. Sure. So it's always been our goal to make it as professional as possible, and now the live music has just... It's like the icing it's on the It's wonderful, cake, exactly, <laughs> yes, yep. That's happening uh, December the 15th and 16th? Yes. And you said there's yes. three performances? Three already? performances. We're at Miller Performing Arts Center in Jefferson City. You know, I went there for the first time this this year. Uh -huh. I was amazed at that auditorium. Yeah, it's a wonderful facility. Oh my yes. goodness. There's so yes. much to see and look at besides what's on stage. Mm -hmm. In the lobby, too. It's just yeah. a wonderful place. Yep. So. Yeah. We'll have performances Saturday at 7 and on Sunday a matinee at 1 and then an, a slightly earlier performance because this is a wonderful ballet for children. So our Sunday evening performance will be at 6. Okay. Find more at dancersalley.com. We'll give you that website again in just a moment. Mm -hmm. We've got some pictures to look at. Yeah. So let's take a look at the pictures taken last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what's kind of happening here? Oh, this is Waltz of the Flowers. Most people will be familiar with this, this wonderful piece of music. Um, as you can see, we have full sets, uh, beautiful dancers, lovely costume. Too. Yeah. Costuming. Uh, we've it's like been, Broadway here. We're many years in the making for accumulating all of the necessary sets and costumes, and every yeah. year we add, change. Um, okay, our next grow picture. Grow the performance. Um, this, this is in this is in the party scene at the beginning of the ballet. Um, takes place at Christmas. Uh, Clara, who's in the center in the red, um, her uncle Drosselmeyer comes and gives her a nutcracker for Christmas, and of course then it turns into a life-size nutcracker and they go off to the land of the sweets, and it's a wonderful holiday story that a lot of people know. Yes. Next picture, please. In the beginning of Act Two, here we have our little angels and our sugar plum fairy. They are introducing Clara to the land of the sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that land of the sweets. Land I of wish the I sweets. could visit it. Yes. And our final picture. Uh, final picture is the snow scene, which is one of my favorite. And we do pull out all the stops in our production. We have a sleigh that crosses the stage. We have snow that falls. Um, our Drosselmeyer is Aaron Gillum of Gillum Family Illusions. So there are wonderful magic tricks inserted throughout our performance as well. Um, so it's meant for the whole family. Whole bring family. The kids, grandma, grandpa, everybody. Yes. Yep. And come down yep. and see The Nutcracker with Dancers Alley and the Southside Philharmonic Orchestra 
December the 15th and 16th. Uh, again, dancersalley.com for more information. Anything else you exactly. want to say before we go? Um, they can also look at the Southside Philharmonic uh, website. They know they are plugging that nutcracker and we'll have lots of um, other wonderful information about all their performances. It sounds beautiful already. Thank you. Katie Holland, <laughs> thank you so much uh -huh. for coming down today. Thank Tell you. Patrick, hi. I will. <laughs>